So down in 1975 back, I have been spackling up this model, as you can see, cleaning up the edges here. Um, when the stuff dries, I'll be sanding it. Actually, most of it is dry already. You can see the areas that have been done underneath there. there the cells and those areas those spots right there and the missile Actually, I shouldn't say missile. The, the proton, the photon, tor not proton, it's not star. Photon torpedo launcher, and the far, yeah. So that has been um, spackled. Um, now, some people say, "Well, use model putty or or packing," um, but you know, this stuff is you know three something. Uh, container it works it's a lot less expensive for the amount that you get and uh, <laughs> you know I know some people say well if you need it ends the meat or whatnot you could use the heat gun to melt it in the eh, I don't want it. it's too that's too crazy uh, no me I would probably destroy it um, but anyway the the spackle works great you just let it dry if, in fact most of it is already dry just this big chunk down here on the bottom here is not dry but uh, anyway, it's it's a real simple way of doing it, and uh, uh, sometimes after the first sanding, um, you'll have to go back and put a little bit more on top in some spots. But uh, other than that, you know, and if you can't get something quite right, you know, you could always use it as a battle damage spot. It's better than having a big gap, open gap showing on, on the on the starship because then it just kind of looks fake. And you know, I, I'm intending to do some. Uh, some minor filming with this for fun, so I'm, I don't want it to look like it's, a, it's, it's so much models. So I want it to be, you know, gaps. So anyway, and some of you are probably wondering, well, why, if you're going to film it, why aren't you lighting it? Well, yeah, well, um, I didn't really want to spend that much money, and I've actually never lit a ship before. And uh, not only that, um, you know, sometimes when you're using a digital camera and you got a light shining right in, in uh, right in the uh, lens of the camera, it, it just it over uh, it over sparkles or sat over lens flares and everything. And it, and I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin the shot of the ship. Um, so any lights, I'm I'm learning to do a lot of uh, filming stuff with the computer. So I'll, hopefully I'll learn to just do maybe some light animation. Uh, for the lights, uh, you know, maybe that would be a, a fun little thing to learn to do. But anyway, uh, catch you on the next check-in. All right, back again. Um, most of the spackle has dried and has been sanded. Um, sanded smooth. It's probably hard to tell. in this but it is uh, it's uh, pretty smooth up in these corners and stuff and up in here and the photon torpedo launcher the, uh, the edges up in here are pretty good and uh, the back here doesn't really look great um, in, in this form. But once it's got um, some primer on it, you'll see it'll be smoothed out. And uh, up in this region, oops, up in this region. The um, part up here, oops, K 
came out better. Um, the bottom, however, needs a little more time to dry. So this is the one piece that I'm going to let dry. And I'm actually going to start putting the model together. I'm just going to hold off on the this part of the impulse engines and um, or the uh, engineering hull section on the top of that. But uh, and then once that once that's dried, I'll sand it smooth and maybe go over it one more time. And this will just be the last. The whole point is to start getting the model back together so that I can fix that bent corner get working on that because I'm going to have to do the same kind of thing. So alright, check back with you later. Back again here, um, just to bring an update on the Klingon Katung Katinga I always want to say Katanga for some reason. Katinga battle cruiser. <clears throat> Anywho, um, most of it's together. Again, still letting this dry. And some of these pieces didn't either overlap or didn't meet enough or whatnot. But anyway, I've marked with blue tape by the areas where I need to add some spackle to repair something or improve the uh, the quality. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show that. Um, funny thing, the, the piece that was bent when it came in the package, um, just before I went to glue the, the, the cells on, it managed to break off. And But anyway, I was able to find the piece and glue it back in the area. So then with a little bit of vinyl packing and smoothing out it's going to be quite nice now it's actually went together better that way because it broke off and then i put it, glued it back on but anywho um i will catch you all on the next